Nenu Ninu Premistunanu. I love you. Uh -huh, there we are. Hello, Chennai. No, I bought it. Tuberculosis? Tuberculosis. 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 TB. TB. <laughs> I can speak English very, very well. I can speak English very well. Good. Well. <laughs> I thought it's wrong to call grandpa and grandma. I don't know what is this word, papi and tati. I don't know. I got some feeling he's my own papi, own oh. grandpa. Hi everyone, I'm Mitch, and welcome back to the channel. I'd like to introduce to you Shushma, for those of you who haven't met her before. Shush Hello everyone. <laughs> Shushma's from India, and we want to talk today about why Shushma is here in Armenia. But more importantly, and first and foremost, Shushma is not just somebody we ran into. Shushma is now what? Granddaughter. Granddaughter to who? Mitch, Petrus Mitchell. <laughs> and? Sona Tati. Sona Tati and Petrus Papik. Petrus Papik, Sona yeah. Tati. <laughs> That's it. So it's it's a great story. Mm -hmm. uh, so please stay tuned, stay, hang around and uh, listen to what we have to say. I think you'll like it. So today we are in Children's Park. Uh, this is uh, in the center of Yerevan, not very far from Republic Square. Shushma, maybe we can start. Mm -hmm. You can explain to our viewers a little bit about yourself. Yes. And why, where you come from. Okay. And what brought you to Armenia. Okay. My name is Shushma and I'm from India. In India, I'm from southern part of India, Andhra Pradesh. I uh, brought up and grown up near my grandma mm -hmm. with my grandma my parents thought it's a wise decision to grow up children with the grandparents to learn more traditional ways valuable things valuable lessons to lead life mm -hmm. so I brought up near my grandma and even my sister is brought up with my grandma uh -huh. what's the closest capital city to Andhra Hyderabad Hyderabad uh -huh. okay so for those of you who don't know anything about Hyderabad is Hyderabad in the south in the north or in the middle or where south south mm -hmm. I thought it was in the middle <laughs> in the middle of India yeah it's not no it's no? a south southern part of it's in the southern part mm -hmm. okay so it's above Chennai below Tamil Chennai Nad below Chennai no above Chennai <laughs> <laughs> And what is the language like, spoken there? Uh, the language spoken by people of Andhra Pradesh is Telugu. Telugu. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I know a little bit of Telugu. Yes, I hope so. Nenu Ninu Premistu Nanu. I love you. Uh -huh, there we are. You see, even I know more about India than you do, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, Shushma. So you're 19 years of age. Yes. And how did you get in contact with me? Uh, when we plan to come to Armenia to do our medical study, I was doing some research on the universities and people climate and in YouTube I found the channel called Armenian Life with Mitch. Uh -huh. uh, then I wrote him in the comments that I said I'm coming to Armenia to do my general medicine. After that, I got his mail mm -hmm. and after that, uh, <coughs> after arriving to Armenia, I, s I mailed him again, I wrote him again, I reached Armenia, can we meet once? First of all, from my childhood, I was not even, even interested in the medicine. I was interested in engineering field, IT field, but when I was in 10th standard, all of a sudden I got interested in medicine I don't know why when I was a child uh, around one or two years old my grandmother's father I mean my great-grandpa uh, is suffering from tuberculosis 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 
tubercular TB. TB. <laughs> he is suffering it. suffering from TB and he used to have uh, injections every day. Oh. By seeing that, I used to act like a doctor and try to inject, uh, take a stick and uh, try to inject him and take money from <laughs> him. And at yeah. the time, my he he said to my grandma that at least make her as a nurse. Your mummy. Uh huh. Now she didn't grow up with a daddy. Yes. She didn't grow up with her daddy. Yes. That's why you don't have a grandpa on mum's side, right? Uh -huh. So, what's a very important relationship she has with us? Father. Father. Mother. I'm her father. And... Uh, Tatik is her mother. Tatik is her mother. She has two mothers, Just unfortunately. Two mothers. So, mother in India is your grandma. Uh-huh. So, now... Uh, we are like related we've got relatives everywhere now we've yes. got your mum and dad in Kuwait uh -huh. we've got Amama which is your grandma in India Indian grandma Armenian grandma yeah it's uh, and Kuti let's not forget let's not forget Kuti yes your 17 year old very sweet sister 16 year old 16 year old sister mm -hmm. she's studying what she's studying intermediate Plus one. Uh, but what does she want to do? She's interested in IT. In IT and she wants to be the next CEO of... Google. Google. <laughs> <laughs> She's a great girl and they bo they're both great girls, honestly. So, Shushma. Yes. Why don't you tell our viewers about our relationship? Yes. Yeah. After meeting Papik in person, I don't know, I got some feeling he's my own papik, own oh, grandpa. Oh, this is very special. I, I, I asked him, I can call you grandpa and grandma. And he said, Armenians call papik and tatik. I thought it's wrong to call grandpa and grandma. I don't know what is this word papik and tatik mean. <laughs> and I said, okay. <laughs> after the, after traveling, some days I got to know Papik means grandpa, Tatik means grandma. And for me, uh -huh. uh, when um, Shushma wrote to me, I was really quite touched that uh, somebody from India would write uh, to my channel. I just didn't expect it. Mm -hmm. I don't think at that time you you mentioned that you wanted to come to study medicine. I can't remember. Yes, Did I you? mentioned. You mentioned that then? Yes. But I never expected her to come. I just thought, well, this is some random girl from mm -hmm. from from India just writing because she saw me, uh, saw uh, Sonia and I, Mrs. Mitch and I, on a YouTube video. But it was more than that. And so uh, it's very, very special what happened. Because... Um, when was it, Shushma? You came to you you came to Armenia in October. Yes, October second. Mm -hmm. And then she she had my number, so she called me and said, "Can I meet with you and uh, Mrs. Mitch?" At that at that time, we yes. were yes, Mrs. Mitch and mm -hmm. Mr. Mitch or Mitch. I went to see you in a hostel, and there was Shushma. She comes running up to me with her arms wide open. I never forget. <laughs> I yes. never forget that. And that was uh, instant. I think we kind of both knew something was very special mm -hmm. in our relationship. And so now we, uh, she's our like um, adopted granddaughter, mm -hmm. and we're her adopted uh, grandparents. Um, now grandpa. Yeah. Yeah, adopted grandpa. <laughs> Now, Shushma, what was it that uh, attracted you to come to Armenia to study medicine? Uh -huh. First of all, when we are trying to uh, find um, about education in foreign countries, mm -hmm. we came to know that Armenia is one of the safest countries. Mm -hmm. And now it's developing country. Mm -hmm. And the education system is good. Mm -hmm. And the quality quality of education is also good, and many of it, many other Indian students are coming here to study the MBBS. Mm. So we thought. So when you say we, are you talking about mum and dad? Yes. And grandma too. We yes, are all involved too. in that. Uh -huh. right. 
conversation. Yeah? Yes. Uh huh. It's nearly five months you've been here. Yes. Five months. Six, Six months nearly. Mm -hmm. What can you say about uh, Minia as a place to live? Yes, it's quite interesting place to live. I think because many new experiences, uh, many good people, environment, uh, developing country, more opportunity for upcoming businesses, mm -hmm. upcoming talents and so on. Do you feel safe being here? Yes. And uh, it's, it's, I guess, a little, you're in a little bit of a unique situation compared to most Indian and foreign students because uh -huh. there are a lot of other foreign students here besides Indians. Yes. In the university that you will be attending, uh -huh. hopefully in September, mm -hmm. we'll tell you about why she's not um, studying in uni right now. Yes. Uh, but uh, the uni that uh, she will be studying in has got this 14 or 15 different nations represented. Uh -huh. It goes to say something about the education system here mm -hmm. in the university level. Um, but you're in a unique situation because you have kind of a family here now too, right? Yes. Not kind of a family, you have a family. Family. Yeah. Uh -huh. But most Indian, most foreign students don't, don't have that, do they? Yes. And that makes it a little bit difficult for them. Mm -hmm. So whenever we meet uh, other students from different countries, we try to make them feel comfortable mm -hmm. too. Shushma's giggling because I'm always making mistakes. Mm -hmm. uh, Shushma, you came over here in October uh -huh. with the belief that you were enrolled in mm -hmm. a medical university here yes. uh, in Yerevan, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, that didn't eventuate because her family went through a broker uh, who was who basically tricked the family out of a lot of money, mm -hmm. said that he would do um, the enrollment process, nothing to worry about, give all of your papers and passports and everything, we'll, I'll organise the airfares. Mm -hmm. Well, he did, a, he did a few things. He gave her an airfare over, uh, organised a visa, accommodation, and then that was basically it, wasn't it? Yes. That was it. He didn't enrol you. We tried everything, by the way, to reverse that and to get her into into the uni, but it was impossible. Though as a result, she missed out on a whole year of uh, of study. Mm -hmm. But you decided to stay. Yes. Why did you decide to stay? Because if I go back to India, mm -hmm. I will miss my public country. Oh, is that true? Yes. We're going to miss you too if you went back, but mm -hmm. uh, there were there there was kind of other reason too that we thought maybe we can enrol her in, in the, another course, mm -hmm. like in a language course uh -huh. to improve her English. Yes, and uh, that will help her in the future with the in medis, medical field. Uh huh. So that's what we've done, and that's how we managed to uh, to extend her visa here by enrolling her in an English language course. Not very far from here, actually. Berlitz Language Center, it's called. Yes. International Language Center. And how you found that experience, Shushma? It's good. Yeah? Uh huh. Can you say very. I, th I can speak English very, <laughs> very well? I can speak English very well. Cool. Well. Uh -huh. <laughs> I won't put that part in. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's very difficult for uh, Indian people and. Uh, not just Indian people, but it's to get the v and the w. It's difficult, isn't it? Anyway, we love her. Uh, Sona Tatik is uh, Mrs. Mitch, by the way, is not very well at the moment. She's uh, had dental implant surgery. Uh, she would have joined us, but she's home resting. And uh, so after this, we'll go and see her. We'll have some. Mm -hmm yummy Armenian meal. Mm -hmm. Oh, how are you coping with Armenian meals, by the way? Good. You like the food? Yes. I know what you like most of all. Cake. Yes. Armenian cakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's addicted to Armenian cakes now. Shushma, you are a wonderful representative of your country, mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. We really and truly love you for who you are. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we wish you all the best uh -huh. in your future uh -huh. and uh, regardless of where you end up in the world you know that we'll always be your Kapik and Tajik. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> so uh, on that note, um, we'll keep you updated on Shushma from time to time, but yes. um, I think uh, uh, it's interesting for, for you to know about, it's not just a place for, our, for Armenians, you know, more and more people from different countries are coming to live here, yes. uh, work here, study yes. here. It's really kind of interesting time for Armenia and uh, the good thing I think about our country is we're actually quite welcoming to, yes. to foreigners, mm -hmm. yes? Yeah, I think so. Any last words that you would like to, to uh -huh. say to our audience? Share, like, share and subscribe to Armenian Life with Mesh. Oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it's bye from Mitch. Wait, wait. Okay. Like, share, subscribe to Armenian Life with Mitch and stay tuned to upcoming videos. Very That's good. it for this video. It's bye from Mitch. Bye from Sushma. Bye. Bye bye. Love you. Love you all.